You still tired? All right, so I got a new puppy recently. She's two months old. She's Yorkie. Her name's Pretzel. And if she's yawning, she's a handful. So yeah, it's been a little tough making some content. But a few months ago, I took out my girlfriend's Mazda 3 Turbo. It's a sedan, the new one. And I was doing some quarter mile testing, some zero to 60 testing. And I randomly started just talking about automatics, manuals, dual clutches, stuff like that. It was unscripted. The video wasn't even meant to do that. It was just on my way to driving to do some performance testing. I just started talking about it a little bit. And I decided to throw it into its own video, just kind of talking about automatics, manuals, my take on it, my perspective. It's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys got your own opinions and everything. And um, basically how after owning, I don't know, probably close to 10 cars or so, all manual, besides my first car, I tried to do a clutch. I loved it initially. Then went back to a manual. Why I did that and to see what your guys take is, you know what I'm saying? Like drop a comment, let me know what you guys think. That's it, you know, manual, automatic, dual clutch, my take, my experience with them and why I went back to a manual. It's not gonna be the same for everyone. So it's just like I said, it's just my opinion, my perspective. What are you doing, come on, come say hi to them. Come here, girl, let's see. Can you see? Come on. So yeah, subscribe, comment, like, maybe we'll see more pretzel. Yawn. Oh, she tired. All right, I'll put you back to sleep now that everybody saw you. Let's do a downshift again. We're gonna do uh, two downshifts, ready? Chef, ready? So it's not the quickest, you know, but I had before my other car that I had, I had a uh, Volkswagen Golf R. It was a Mark 7.5, whatever year I forget. It was basically the last generation they made before the new ones. And that thing has the DSG. And those feel really, really good. <laughs> It was my first ever dual clutch transmission and it felt amazing i'm not gonna lie i was one of those guys that was like i'm not gonna drive it i love a manual car i've driven i've owned all my besides my first car ever that was automatic i've had all manual like 10 cars and people have told me how good the dual clutches are when i had my m3 and everything and i just in you know the dct for example and i was with that person that was like i don't care it's still an automatic it's still an automatic it's still an automatic and then i test drove one and i was blown away how quick it was both not only the upshifts not this the shifting but how quick overall the car is where you can just give it throttle and then you want to shift that 4000 boom you pull the paddle next gear just kicks in and you're off it's not like in a manual where you i guess could floor it but then if you want to shift that four you got to like let go and you know what i mean like if you're flooring a car usually that means you want to redline it but with a dsg you don't got to do that you can floor it and just hit the paddle at four or three and a half five whatever and it just feels great but i'm not gonna lie after a year and change almost two years i got tired of it it was just boring and this isn't gonna go for everybody but it's just me it's personal preference you got the haters out there i'm not a hater i gave it a chance i liked it but after a while you know i just wanted something that i could enjoy while driving something fun something engaging and for some folks a dsg a dual clutch in general or paddle shifters in general even if it's not a dual clutch it's gonna be enough for them but for me it just wasn't and i'm not hating on the folks it's just different strokes for different folks you know what i'm saying like for me i'd rather have a car that's a little slower that has a little more engagement factor to me that incorporates that fun that engagement the shifting you, there's nothing you can't beat it putting the clutch in downshifting rev matching heel toe up shifting chirping tires like you just can't there's something about it you know what i mean like if you know you know and if not it's totally fine this is nothing against it because i was that person but i gave it a chance this is coming from someone who gave the dsg i keep saying dsg because that's what i had in the golf R. but i gave the dual clutch i gave the paddle shifters a chance it's not the worst thing in the world it actually sold me in the beginning and if you want to go fast get it there's no beating that but for me i wanted a little something more engaging and that's why i wanted to go back to a manual 
and that's why I basically sacrificed half the horsepower. I went from a 400 horsepower tuned Golf R to a well under 200 horsepower stock VL124 Spider Abarth, comparable to a Miata. For some of the folks who don't know what car that is, it's kind of like the sister car of the Miata. I prefer the styling of it, and I prefer the turbo engine that comes with it instead of a, actually i forget what the miata is a 2.1 i forget 2. Point something naturally aspirated i want to say 2.0 but i might be wrong it might be like a 2. Point whatever at this point versus the fiat which was a little tiny baby 1.4 liter but it had a turbo and that really did help so yeah i guess we just made a video while i was cruising in my girlfriend's mazda 3 about my 124 spider and my golf r and automatics and manuals this video turned out a little crazy. I'll probably throw it up on YouTube as a video just talking about DSGs and automatics in general or dual clutches or whatever, or paddle shifters. But it is kind of funny that we're in a Mazda 3 talking about completely different cars.